Uh, Greg Lombard, so tell us about localcatholicbusiness.com. Uh, what, uh, it started last October, what, mm -hmm. what exactly is the principle behind it? The whole principle is I'm trying to bridge the gap between Catholic consumers and Catholic-owned businesses. You know, if you think about the word patronage, it's somehow, oddly enough, has a negative connotation to it. And why? You know, we have two million Catholics here in Dallas-Fort Worth area. And if we supported one another, mm -hmm. you can you imagine the, the, how powerful of a financial ecosystem we would have? But when you support Catholic-owned businesses, these are typically, I mean, they provide the lifeblood for parishes and dioceses, mm -hmm. as well as nonprofits. Uh, perfect example here, Bob Duane with My Mutual Mortgage, Dr. Kyle here with Mid-Cities Dental. These men are pillars in our parish community, but not just there. They're very actively involved in the diocese and taking it further into the community. Why? Because they have solvent businesses that are growing and thriving, and just because of their involvement, people want to support them. And what we need is we need more Bob Duanes, we need more Kyle Everlines, we need more Martha Everlines who mm -hmm. are so involved here. And how do we do that? We just simply have to support them. So this is where people can, I guess, one, go to the website and find out if there's a capital owned business that's doing plumbing or roofing or uh, mortgage uh, you know, or real estate and that kind of thing. So do you already have some people on the website? Tell us if people visit that website, localcapitalbusiness.com, what will they find? Yeah, actually, you're going to find your standard consumer services, professional services, even some business-to-business -business services. In fact, I'm trying to get a friend of yours, uh, Masango. Oh, yeah. And um, his with CatholicBrain.com yeah. to be able to get a list within because the type of service he provides, there are teachers out there. And there are principals and administrators, yeah. Yeah. Uh, parishioners involved with um, faith formation programs for K to A. Right. So this is where they can get those resources and support these active parishioners. And if somebody owns a business and they want to be listed, uh, is there a, a charge? Are there there banner ads? Or what, what, what's, what's involved in, in becoming a member, so to speak, of uh, localcatholicbusiness.com? Well, it's free. Oh, you can list for okay. free. There is no charge. You can have a listing there. You go in, you just go to localcatholicbusiness.com, and there's plenty of, on the upper right hand corner, join today. <coughs> just click the button, and it'll prompt you through. There is no credit card you have to submit. It's very simple and easy to get your business listed. You just pick your category, and they're the typical standard top categories that businesses will mm -hmm. list under. Yeah. There is paid membership options. Um, it's, you know, I do have to pay the bills at some yeah, point. Right, right. <laughs> but um, paid membership is totally optional. It just gives you enhanced visibility on the website. Oh, okay, okay. So the benefit of uh, making, what is it, like a monthly uh, charge or a one-time yeah. charge, you get a little bit more visibility or, or something like that? Yeah, typical, you have monthly membership options. You can get discounts for doing a six month or year. And um, with paid membership, Menchie's and Colleyville, for instance, okay. frozen yogurts, they're able to offer coupons and discounts, and those are featured on the home page. So okay. greater visibility. Yeah, all right, localcatholicbusiness.com. Uh, Greg Lombard, the founder of it, been going on since uh, October, and so you're about uh, almost a half a year into it now, and uh, been growing steadily, or how, how has the growth been for it, the last five months? It's been very surprising, a lot of blessings, now initially, um, very manual process, but I paid my son over the summer to go through <laughs> the online bulletin advertisers yeah. in Fort Worth. And so he put their information into a spreadsheet which we uploaded. So there's businesses right now that are, they have a claim listing we call it. Okay. okay. So we need you, if you advertise in a bulletin and we're about to upload Dallas area, um, you need to go to the site, claim your listing, and upload it with your current contact information as well as what are you about, what are you involved in, what do you do. Yeah. So, and that gives you, again, greater visibility on the site for somebody visiting. All right, uh, localcatholicbusiness.com, things like that. Would it be similar to a Chamber of Commerce type of uh, organization? Or, but it's online, right? This is, this is really taken your online directory. Everybody's familiar with like Yellow Pages or YP.com right. is one, or an Angie's List. Um, so it's really that concept. But 
what they, he, that gentleman was trying to do is build community. Yeah. And that's really what this is all about. It's about community. If we Catholics really got together to support one another, um, and it's not just my website, it's Catholic Radio as well. Being able to support your, I love your program. Catholic Answers is one of my mm -hmm. favorite. Yeah. I really enjoy when I pick up my uh, son from soccer practice. Uh, I put that on and learn so much. Yeah. But this well, let, me, is let me ask you one more question that came to my mind. Uh, LocalCatholicBusiness.com, obviously somebody in uh, Heron Hearst could, lo could get on there, mm -hmm. but somebody in you know Milwaukee could log in as well. Is this re regional right now, and are you planning on expanding it where somebody in different cities across the country, or the world for that matter, can find local businesses? Well, I'm glad you asked that. When I was putting together the concept, and actually this all started because I did a lot of work at my home. I checked my yeah. parish bulletin. I couldn't find a painter. Couldn't find a flooring company and some landscaper to do specific work. Okay, where there is a need is an opportunity, but also an opportunity in ministry. So, um, when I did research, it was very important that I focused on the local area. So this is just Dallas Fort Worth area. Okay. But interestingly enough, I get people from across the country, actually New Zealand, Australia register yeah. and I have to tell them I'm sorry I have to stick to this area but we hope to be able to get this right. model replicated and launched yeah. throughout perfected here and then see about expanding yes right? exactly okay. all right well thanks for what you're doing and I do invite everybody it sounds like a, a no-brainer if you if you run a business yeah. it's there's no charge I mean go to local business uh, local dot com and uh, you say click on the top right and you can register mm -hmm. and uh, then if you want to pay a little bit extra you can get mm -hmm. some uh, more prominent uh, promotion on the website uh, Greg Lombard is the owner of localcatholicbusiness.com and they can contact you through the website is there a contact or an email through there as well absolutely there's a uh, plenty of prompts on the websites to be able to uh, contact and reach me via email um, as well as my phone number that's available and today anybody who references the Radio Guadalupe that they heard this broadcast uh, they'll be able to get a free featured membership for six months oh, wow. they just have to reference Radio Guadalupe is where I heard you all right very good you heard it local Greg Lombard thank you very much